Hi, I'm Kirby Allison, and in this installment of our FAQ series, I'm going to show you how to put a razor blade into a double-edged safety razor. Now, wet shaving is one of those rituals that is near and dear to my heart. Every man really should learn how to wet shave. Whenever I learned how to use a proper double-edged safety razor, it totally transformed my life, and it transformed my morning shaving ritual into something that I honestly uh, did not look forward to, to something I really enjoyed and relished. Now, we sell a nice small selection of double-edged safety razors here uh, at Kirby Allison Hanger Project, and this one from Parker is one of my favorites especially for men that are just getting involved or getting started with safety razors because it has a closed comb. So what this does is it just slightly buffers the razor blade so that it's less aggressive than an open comb razor. Now what's great about a safety razor is that the blades uh, are incredibly sharp uh, but also incredibly cheap. You know we sell a hundred of these blades uh, for you know I think twenty dollars right so a hundred blades twenty or thirty bucks you're spending 20 or 30 cents per blade. You know, you could shave every single day with a fresh razor uh, blade and, and still spend a fraction of what you would otherwise spend with Gillette. So this is an Astra blade. Uh, it's one of my favorites because actually it is uh, not the sharpest blade out there. A mistake that a lot of men make is they think, oh, I you know, want the sharpest blade, and so they go for something like a feather. But the problem with the feather is that it's so sharp it is too aggressive for most men and really can cut up their face. I find that Astra is a nice happy medium. Now to put your razor blade into your double-edged safety razor, you just simply would drop this in. You would find the other side of the blade, and you want to make sure that you're installing this so that uh, it goes in the right way. You know, we've had customers put this in upside down, uh, and if you do that, the blade really isn't going to work. And then you simply screw the handle back on. And whenever you do that, this controls the flex of the blade so that as you're shaving, it gets a perfect angle at the skin uh, and really shaves quite well. So if you're someone that hasn't used a double-edged safety razor, uh, this is what it looks like. It's very easy to install the blades. And I can guarantee you that with a little bit of practice, you'll get a shave so much better than the shave that you would otherwise get with the cartridge razor that you'll never look back. In this video, I'm wearing one of our Kirby Allison Sovereign Grade ties. This is a Grenadine Grossa uh, Navy tie. I like the Grenadine Grossas because it has a slightly larger uh, uh, weave pattern than say a Grenadine Fino, which is quite fine and formal. This navy tie uh, is really a staple and something that should be in every man's wardrobe. It's incredibly easy to wear, especially whenever you're wearing something that has a lot of patterns going on. I've got a patterned uh, Zinnia uh, odd jacket, uh, a striped blue shirt, and so to have any type of tie that also had a pattern would just be too much, and so this is really something that's great to use, a nice solid tie. Uh, I'm also wearing a, a Simino Godard uh, woven uh, pocket square. A beautiful pocket square, love Simino Godard, and we have a large collection of their pocket squares here at Kirby Allison Hanger Project. Of course, this tie is tied with my signature old birdie knot. We have a video on the YouTube channel where I teach you how to tie this beautiful, slightly asymmetric, long old birdie knot. <laughs> 